Howdy folks, how's it going? Welcome to my virgin kitchen, it's Barry here. Today we are making some pretty darn sensational gooey chocolate chip and toasted hazelnut cookies. They are just so, so good and you must give them a go. Uh, this is a special cookie collaboration with the Kin community, so at the end of this video there's a playlist with a link so you can go and check out all the other awesome uh, cookie recipes. In fact, here's three uh, right now to whet your appetite. We've got Sarah Lynn from The Domestic Geek, Beth from Entertaining with Beth, obviously, and Alicia from Mind Over Munch. So, so good, and there's many, many more, so please check them out, but hopefully you'll check out mine straight away right now, because they look amazing. The kitchen is smelling so, so good, and they're so easy and so quick to make. Hit pause on the video right now. This is how you do it, and you're gonna wanna do it. Oh yeah, you're gonna wanna do it. Yeah. So we'll start off by toasting our hazelnuts. Uh, tip them straight into a pan and get them over a flame and start to toast them. Keep them moving until they start to sort of char and sort of go, you know, slightly brown colour and your kitchen will smell absolutely amazing. Take them off the flame, put them to one side to cool down naturally. It's kind of like chestnuts roasting on an open fire. We're doing hazelnuts toasting on an indoor frying pan. Kind of works. The smell will be incredible. We'll just let them cool down and now we're going to start to make the cookie batter. Yeah. Grab a mixing bowl and plonk in your butter, then follow up by tipping in both of your sugars, beat it together until it's nice and creamed, and then follow up by tipping in your whole egg and then your vanilla extract. Mix that through again until nice and combined. We'll now thicken the mixture by adding in our plain flour, the bicarbonate of soda, and then also some grounded up hazelnuts. Now if you haven't bought some grounded hazelnuts, you can just double the amount of the toasted hazelnuts there and like whiz them up in a blender, something like that. But you can get them in the store quite easily. Get it all in there and mix it all through together, baby. Oh yeah. With your cookie dough nice and combined, plonk it to one side for one moment and grab your chocolate chips in a bowl, tip in your slightly cooled toasted hazelnuts and then combine it together into a freezer bag. I just put it in a bowl just to make it easier. Obviously, if you're feeling confident, you can do it straight into the freezer bag. But, you know, what can I say? I just found it easier. Once it's in the bag, bash it uh, with a rolling pin so it's, you know, just breaks them down a little bit. It doesn't matter if some of them are still whole. We want a nice sort of rustic combination, all shapes and sizes in there. And all you want to do then is transfer that into your big cookie dough mixture and stir it all the way through until it's nice and combined. Now, what I find is quite good is to just put it in the fridge for around about 10 minutes just to initially firm up the dough before getting it ready for baking, baby. Oh, yeah. Now when it comes to baking them, you can pretty much make them any shape or size. I mean, check out this giant one I made, amazing. Uh, so what you want to do, and what I found easy, was to get like an ice cream scoop, or you could use a spoon, something like that, to keep the sizes consistent, and sort of mould it with your hands. If you do it with your hands, you get a bit more of a smoother finish, so you can make it more rough. Just whack it onto a lined uh, baking tray. Make sure they're quite scattered apart, because they will flatten down, as you'll see. And whack them in the oven for around about eight to 10 minutes on the top shelf. And as soon as it starts to brown around the edges, Take them out, let them cool down naturally before transferring them to a wire rack. And just do that, repeat that with all your dough mixture and it's all done. Looking amazing, right? So, so good. Yeah. Mm hmm Oh my goodness, guys, look, it's like all soft in the middle. Oh my goodness, there's melted chocolate still in there. Gooey chocolate hazelnut cookies. You must, must, must give these a go. I'm gonna have a little nibble on them right now. Oh my gosh. They are so, so good. And toasting the nuts as we did really does make that difference. And also the nuts within the dough mixture as well. Oh, so many textures. I've got a little girl that's gonna love these. Mm -hmm. Hello, Chloe. Hello. How are you? You all right? Yeah. Cool, would you like a cookie? Yeah. Here you go. Okay. There it is. <laughs> Do you like it? Can I have a thumbs up? Can you say to people, try it? Try it! Amazing, give me five. All right, ah, needs work. Say bye. Bye. Oh yeah, she enjoyed them. She takes after her dad, all right. So guys, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, uh, comment and all that stuff. I try and reply to as many as I can and share it to some of you think might enjoy the video. And now, check out the King Community playlist for some more amazing cookie recipes. I'll see you next time. <laughs>